I guess it's appropriate to address the elephant in the room, and that is that it is our final tour. We've been taking this, this tour all around the world, and we're sharing it with each fucking city that we are passionate about. We're not just coming to cities just to fucking play. We're coming to cities like here, right here in Manchester, because you guys have played such a part in our career, and you guys are one of the major fucking hearts and souls of rock and roll. So don't forget that, all right? Because rock and roll is a fucking live, right? Right here. Yeah, you know that. So before the tour started, the first night of the tour, I was sitting in my dressing room and I was thinking, how the fuck did, how the fuck did we get here as Motley Crue? And for me personally, the journey started before I met Tommy and Vince and Mick. It started a long time ago when I was just a kid. And I used to live in a city called Jerome, Idaho, back in America. Population 4,000 people. I lived with my grandmother and my grandfather in a trailer. And we were very poor. My grandfather used to drive his white pickup truck every day. 35 miles to work at a gas station and 35 miles back and at the end of the day he would put his truck keys some change and a pocket knife on the table and I must have been 10 or 11 years old but I would look at that pocket knife and I would think to myself I'm gonna have that someday and I took it and I got in trouble and the next day came home from work and I took it and this was the summer and the whole summer long I got in trouble so I was pretty fucking persistent for a kid and then I went to school the first day of school when I came home he came home from work he put down his truck keys some change and a new pocket knife and he handed me that pocket knife and I've had a knife with me like this one or some other knife that I have in my pocket every day since then and I'm going to tell you what that represents to me it represents to me something like this. If there's somebody out there that is telling you that you can't do something, somebody looks you in the eyes and tells you you're not good enough, or you have a fucking dream and somebody says you're not going to make it, well, you know what? If you keep doing it long enough, over and over and over, you're going to make that fucking come true. Am I right? <laughs> That's fucking right. And that's exactly what Tommy, Vince, and Mick and myself did. We, we actually, we put the fucking time in, we put the years in, and we survived ourselves. But without you, there would be no fucking Motley Crue. So I want to say thank you very much for that, okay? a favor. I know everybody in here has a cell phone, so take it out of your pocket, take it out of your purse, and turn the flashlight on for me, and put it up. Let's light this fucking place up. There we go. Look at that. Take a look around. Now, on this next song, I want you guys to fucking make this place go fucking crazy, and I just want to say one last thing. Someday, I don't know if it's tomorrow, next week or a year from now or 10 years from now, we're gonna be in your car and Motley Crue's gonna come on the radio and some motherfucker sitting next to you is gonna say, you know, I like Motley Crue. You know what you're gonna say? Well, fuck you, because I was at their last fucking concert in Manchester, motherfucker. Are you ready?